Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back again. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 46. First, the problem statement. The problem statement is very straightforward. We have to write a SQL query to find all levels of employee manager hierarchy. For this problem, we have been given a table called employee table wherein we have the columns called employee ID, employee name, department ID and manager ID. So this is the expected output which contains employee ID, employee name, manager ID and one extra column that is employee level we have to drive this column. If you see the row number one we have employee called Mark and, and his manager ID is null. That means Mark is not reporting to anyone else and that's why we have given employee level as 0. So in the pictorial diagram also you can see Mark he is not reporting to anyone else. Now who, who all reports to Mark? So we can see in row number 2 and 3 manager ID is 1007 that means Michael and Daniel is reporting to Mark. So in the pictorial diagram also you can see Michael and Daniel is reporting to Mark and that's why their employee level is 1. Now whoever reports to Michael and Daniel will be level 2. So Robert and David is reporting to Michael and Daniel respectively their employee level is 2. Now for level 3 Brown is uh, 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 Henry Brown is reporting to David so their, his employee level is 3 and James is reporting to Henry that's why his employee level is 4. So this is what we have to uh, get in this output table. So let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. So we can solve this problem by using recursive CTE. So uh, before writing a uh, recursive CTE, first let's uh, see what is there in our input table once again. So I'm going to fire this select star from employee table. So this is our employee table. Now I'm going to write the recursive CTE. So I'm going to start with with keyword with and then I'm going to give CT table name as CTE underscore A. You can give any name as and then I'm going to open the bracket and then I'm going to give the base query. So in recursive CT, we have two parts. First the base query and then the recursive part. So first I'm going to start with base query. So for base query, I'm going to write select star from employee table where, where manager ID is null. So uh, uh, here after that I'm going to close the bracket and after that I'm going to replace star with all the necessary column names. So so first column I need is employee ID column and then we need employee name. After that we need manager ID and uh, after that we have to drive another column called employee level. So the employee whose manager ID is null will be zero level. Right. So I'm going to hard code this zero as employee level. So now our base query is ready. So let me run this base query. So we got employee ID 1007 and uh, whose manager ID is null uh, as employee level 0. Now what we have to do, we have to write the recursive part. So for that, first we need to write union all and then we have to start the recursive part. So I'm going to select these columns, same columns from the base query and I'm going to paste it over here. Here instead of here giving a 0 as employee level, I am going to increment the value of employee level by 1 from employee level table and then I am going to do inner join here we we'll do inner join with the CTE table. Here I am making a reference of this 
table ct underscore a table and will give alias as let's say manager and for employee table let's give alias as emp and i'm going to join both the table on employee dot manager id is equal to manager dot employee id so i'm going to write this employee id after that i'm going to select oh okay because employee id and uh, manage employee name manager id is present in both the table will have to give alias in the select clause so i'm going to place this alias otherwise it will throw error as ambiguous column name after that i'm going to select star from the cte table and then I'm going to order by employee level. So now if I run this full piece of code, you got the desired result, right? Now let's try to understand how this query is giving the result. In order to understand this query better, let's try to run our input table along with this query. So I'm going to run both the query. So here is the result. Now if you see the second result set in the first row, see this is the result we got from the base query, right, of this CTE table. So employee ID of this CTE table, that is nothing but manager table, will, will making a join on the manager ID column of the employee table. So if you see 1007 here, here it will make a join on these two will and will get the result over here in row number two and three. So that's why their employee level is one. Now the employee ID of this uh, row, uh, row number two and three, that is 1005 and six, will make a join on the employee table of, of which column? Manager ID column. So five and six. So these two are the results which will have employee level, a level equal to two. Now the employee ID of this uh, this 1004 and 2 will make a join in the uh, employee table with manager ID column and since only 1004 is only present so only one record will come once since 1002 is not there this record will not come so 1004 will have level equal to 3 now for this 1003 employee ID will make a join on the manager ID column and we'll get here 1001 employee ID as James and level equal to 4. So this is how we can uh, simulate this uh, query and we can understand it. So that's all for this video. If you have liked it, please give a thumbs up and please do write in the comment section.